Today we will simulate axisymmetric supersonic flow over 9 mm bullet, traveling at a speed of 400 meters per second. Additionally, we will optimize bullet nose radius for minimum drag by automating simulation for different nose radius parameters. Let's start from the beginning. As we want to simulate an axis symmetric flow, set the analysis as 2D. Open Design Modeler. Set the units as millimeters. Make a sketch in XY plane. Set the dimensions of half the bullet. We only want to simulate the motion of projectile, as casing is separated from the bullet when it is fired. The purpose of this simulation is demonstration of supersonic flow and use of parameters. Although bullets actually have unicursal coordinate curve, but here we approximate it with an arc with center at different positions with different radii. Check this box to make the bullet nose radius a parameter. Make the flow domain around the bullet. Make a surface from this sketch. For a better control over meshing, split the face from discontinuities. Make another sketch in XY plane. Make two lines from which we want to split the surface. Go to Tools. Face Split. Select the surface, then the two edges to split it. Moving to Meshing now. Select Face Meshing for structuring mesh on all faces. As well structured mesh is formed. We only need to refine the mesh size. Give edge sizing to different edges one by one. We want the same family of lines to pass through these three edges. So, we will give same conditions to them. Give biasing to obtain more refined mesh near the bullet instead of in the free stream. Repeat the same procedure for other edges as well.
well-structured mesh with 22,000 elements is formed. Average skewness and orthogonal quality are quite close to ideal conditions. There are some elements with skewness close to 0.4, but that's acceptable. Create named selections. Select the edge, press in for naming it or right click and select name selection from options. Former one is faster. If we name the edges correctly, Fluent automatically detects the boundary conditions. It is not necessary to do it, but it can save time when there are a lot of boundaries. Close the measure, and move on to Fluent Setup. Here we will select Double Precision for better results. Double Precision represents floating points in a 64-bit system. So, we obtain more precision but with more computational power. For trans or supersonic flows, density-based solver is recommended. Density-based solver solves equations simultaneously unlike pressure-based solver which solves them rather indirectly. Detailed theory of numerical solutions will be explained in separate videos soon. As we are dealing with supersonic flow, turn energy equation on. Select K omega as turbulent viscosity model and ensure that viscous heating is checked too. The most important part. We have to include, density changes too. Here we model air as ideal gas for density variations calculations. Also, choose an appropriate model for viscosity changes as well. Here, we will use Sutherland model. Choice of models for numerical solutions is based on research and experience. Read in detail about these models and authentic research papers on numerical solutions for a better understanding. As expected, Fluent automatically, detected the boundary conditions. As for the last unnamed boundary, it is a part of pressure outlet that we forgot to select while naming. Simply set it as pressure outlet. Select pressure far field for reference of velocity and density. Here we will use cross-sectional area of bullet as reference area. Selection of reference values has already been discussed in one of our previous videos.
select second order methods for discretization as they are more accurate, but use more computational power. Leave this tab as it is for now. Courant number is actually a converges condition for partial differential equations. Fluent uses it for calculating time steps, which in turn controls how fast the solution converges. Leave it as default. We make report definitions for CD and drag, and designate them as output parameters. You can also change their name as you like. We can change the converges criteria from here, but for now, leave it as default. That is, the residuals will be reduced up to the fourth power of 10 by default. Initialize the solution with free stream values and run the calculations. Solution has converged. Let's move to post CFD. Generate velocity and pressure contours to visualize shock and distribution of these variables up and downstream. You can also mirror the velocity contour about the XZ plane, or any other plane, as it is an axis symmetric flow. We can obtain distribution of velocity along the flow direction at any distance from the bullet. Generate a line parallel to the flow direction by specifying two points. Keep line type as cut. Generate a chart from toolbox at the top of screen. From data series tab, select the previously formed line. Select x as a variable for x axis and velocity as a variable for y axis. Click apply. For comparison of velocity profiles at different distances, generate another line at the required distance, and add another series in the chart. You can clearly see the diminishing spikes of velocity curve further from the bullet surface. Now we can repeat the same procedure for all other radii of bullet nose, or we can simply add the values as parameters.
Input all the values of nose radius that you want to analyze. Check the design points that you want to retain. Of course, if you want to get an optimized geometry, retain all the points and in the end, select the desired point as current design. For now, I'm only retaining two points to demonstrate how we were able to make obtain structural meshing and accurate results for all of them. Once, we know the range where the drag is minimum, we can add more data points in that range to get more accurate results. This can be done directly from direct optimization but we'll discuss that in a separate video in detail. Update the design points from option available on top left, or, select the design points. Right click and update them from here. We can export this table as CSV file for data manipulation in Excel. As you can see, the nose radius is changed in the geometry and all calculations and graphs have been obtained automatically. We can also see that our meshing technique was perfect as structured hexahedral mesh was obtained for all other geometries too. As for the CSV file, you can draw a graph from it in Excel, or use the data in any way you want. That's it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to mention them in the comments. More videos on numerical solutions theory and explicit dynamics will be uploaded soon. So, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.